The child just said that the so-called white man whose name is Cedric Borgia is God. Well, if that's God, then who is this? Who is this? The devil. She said that the black man is the devil and that the white man is God. Don't we see what's going on here? What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that the kingdom of heaven is for you. Right? right. That the kingdom of heaven, that this earth belongs to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. That's right. Who is going to stand up for God and take it back? Which one of you black men are going to stand up for God and take it back? Get that. God wants to know. God wants to know which one of you so-called black men are going to stand up here in Columbia and join the fight of regaining your heritage here in America. Who is going to do it? Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Come on now. Who will rise up for me? God says, who will rise up for him? God says, who will rise up for him? Read. Against the evildoers. Against the evil that's taking place out here. Against the murders that's taking the place in our community. Against the black on black crime from us killing ourselves. From the injustice that's taking place in the court system. God says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Come on. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? God wants to know who is going to stand up for him against the workers of iniquity, against the workers of sin. But tonight is the Lord's holy day. Tonight is the Lord's Sabbath. But here in this country, we have clubbing set up. Here in this country, we got the strip club to go to, we got the regular club to go to, we got the bars to go to that are wide open, selling us drink, selling us uh, 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 weed, selling us all the unlawful and unhealthy things that God told us not to do. But what do we do? We don't know that tonight is the Lord's Sabbath day, but we know it's clubbing, it's clubbing time. Right. We got a question for you, sister. Why are we like this? Why are we like this? Why? Yeah. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, can I show you something? I want you to see something. I want to show you something, sis. I want to show you something, sis. Watch this. Hold this. Hold this for me, brother. This is what I want. Can I ask your children a question? Yes. I'm gonna ask you something. Who is this man right here? You see that? I want everybody to see what just happened. Did you teach your son that this is God? Probably not, no. No. Who is this? But that's all our pictures. But if this is all we've been taught. This is what we're showing you. The child just said that the so-called white man whose name is Cedra Borgia is God. Well, if that's God, then who is this? Who is this? The devil. She said that the black man is the devil and that the white man is God. Don't we see what's going on here? And I know you didn't teach your child that the black man is the devil. I'm trying to be brainwashed. I know you didn't teach your child that the brainwashed. black man is the devil. So there's something that we must show you and your children today. Come around here, children. Let me show you something. This man right here, whose name is Cedra Borgia, is a so-called white man. God. This is not God, all right? He is not God. He has set himself up to look like God and portray himself to be God so that you don't know that, guess what? You are God. Right. You are God. Right. You are a princess. But our oppressor would rather have our children think that God is the so-called white man. The white man, the white man is the devil, according to God. Get me Psalms chapter 82 and 6. Bring it up. So that these young brothers do not leave here thinking that nobody else is God except for you. Right. Now you have to step into your godlike power. Now you have to step into your godlike mind state. When you get older, you have to develop the mindset of being a god. Bring it up. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. We're Bring reading out of the Holy Bible where your names are recorded when it's going to tell you who you are. What did God say to Zion and Isaiah? I have said, ye are God. What did God say to Zion and Isaiah? I have said. Ye are God. The most high God of heaven and earth, who is a black man, says that you are God. Right. You are his chosen people. You are his chosen sons on the earth. Right. Read it again. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, 
verse 6. I'm sorry, man, but this should infuriate the black man today. Right. right. This should piss the black man off today for right. our children to think that the white man is God. Right. right. We are the gods of this earth. Right. God told right. us to rule this earth. Read it again. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are God. God said that you are the gods of the earth. Read. Right. And all of you are children of the most high. God says that you are the children of God. You are the children of God. Read. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. But now we got to die like men and fall like the princes. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. Right. God has a dress code. He has a specific way of life that he has to live by. You have to learn what that specific dress code, what that specific lifestyle is in order to be the God that he's chosen you to be. Right. Look at in Revelations real quick. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. We're going to see what Christ looks like. We're going to see what God looks like according to what the Bible says. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelations means to reveal. The root word in the word revelation is to reveal. We are revealing what Jesus Christ looks like. The Son of God. Read. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants. You are the servants of God. He said, I gave this to John to show this to my servants. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. Things which must shortly come to pass. What were those things that was to shortly come to pass? Our children being miseducated. Our young men being miseducated. And to think that this white devil is God. Right. The right. devil is the so-called white man. Right. The Bible said so. What other people can put... Who can put you in slavery and drag to put a person in slavery and drag them down the street to take a pregnant woman, strap her legs to a horse, one horse going that way, one horse going that way, to slap the horses and make them rip her open? Would you say that that's a god or a devil? That is the devil. That is what they did to your foremothers. That is what they did to your forefathers. That is what they did to your sisters and your brothers right here in this country. Right. So-called white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. Read verse 14. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Isaiah, does this man have hair that's white like wool? Does he have hair that's white like wool? White in texture and woolly, woolly in woolly in texture and white in color. Does he has does he have white woolly hair? No. No, he doesn't. Look at these color pictures. They're the same pictures. Does he have white woolly hair? That's strike number one. Yes, sir. That's strike number one. Strike number one. He's not he's not God. Strike number one. It says that he has hair like white in texture. I mean white in color, woolly in texture. Come on. And his eyes were as the flame of fire. He said that his eyes, God, the son of God's eyes, were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet. And his feet. Now, Isaiah, if I look at your feet, if I look at your feet, what if I look at the sister feet, look at your sister feet, what color are they? Black. They brown. Brown. Okay? Because look, your brother's shoes are black, right? So what color is your sister feet? Black. Now, sister, let me see your hand. What color is your sister's hand? What color is your sister's face? So God, the Bible says that God's feet, the son of God's feet were what? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? You see this? Brass is brown. Brass is brown. So it said that God's feet, the son of God's feet were like fine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Now Isaiah, Isaiah, if I burn this up, if I took this and put it in a fire and burned it, what color would it turn? It would turn what? If I, if, I, if I take this paper and I burn it, what color is it going to turn? Black. It's going to turn what? Black. Black. So the Bible says that Christ, the Son of God, his feet were brown, and if you burned it, it turned black, meaning he was a dark-skinned man. Right. Look at what he did to your people. You see this? Look at this right here. This is slavery. He put us in chains and beat us for over 400 years, Isaiah and Zion. Right. They beat us. They whoop us. They beat us today. They you shoot know. us down in the street today, Isaiah. Mama, I know you're afraid when your sons get teenagers. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if they're going to get a job and be on their way to work and get mistakenly shot down in the street and for something that took place on the other street over there.
Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Why do we have to suffer these things? Why is this happening to only us? Is this happening to the so-called white man? Can his children walk down the street safely? If the white man walked down the street right now, you know what we'll do? We move the hell out of the way and step to the side. Right. Now, Why do we have that type of respect for them? For the same reason that our young sons think that the white man is God. They have bred this in us for over 400 years. They have bred in us to fear them. Whooped us. Whooped us and made us to think that we are inferior and they are superior, that they are more than us. But God said, no, Isaiah, no, Zion. I chose you. I chose you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. That's what God says about you. What's your name, princess? Scott. Skyler. Skyler. This is what God says about you. I'll read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says that you are a holy people. You know what that means? You are a prince. You are a princess. That's right. You are a prince. You are the, the, if I cut you in the blood that comes out of you, that's royal blood, homie. Right. You are a real prince. <laughs> you are a real prince. Hey. Is that coming through your head, you Isaiah? You Isaiah, you are a real prince. Zaya, you are a real prince. Read it again. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You're holy. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. What did God do for Isaiah? Hath chosen thee. What did he do for Zaya? Hath chosen thee. Thee. What did he do for Skylar? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord thy God has chosen you. Come on. To be a special people. To be a what? A special people. Come on. Unto himself. Read on. Above. No, no, no. Equal to. Above. Oh, no, no. Below. Above. 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 Higher than. Most important than. Come on. All people. All people or some people? All people. People, God said that you're above all people, come on, that are upon the face of the earth. I think that don't really register too good. Bring it, it up. Says, God said that you are above all people that are on the face of the earth. That's right. He means that of, of all the people that are on the face of the earth, that are scattered all over the earth, you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are his special people. That's Bring it up. That is who you are. Right. But we have to come back to the law. We have to come back to the Bible. Right. We can't continue to live our lives outside of the Bible. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Come on. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So the Bible says the Spirit itself, meaning our spirit, read it again. Let's try and fall the away. Spirit itself uh -huh. beareth witness with yeah, our spirit. It says the Spirit itself beareth it. witness with our spirit. Come on. That we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. You know why? Because the Spirit itself, when you read that, when you read this Bible right here, and the, go to Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse uh, 28, verse 15 real quick. This is why our spirit bear witness that we are the children of God. Right. Because the things that happen in this Bible, the things that this Bible prophesied will happen to the children of Israel, happen to no one else on the face of the earth. That's right. Read 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. So God said, it shall come to pass. Come on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe, to do all his commandments, come on. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these what? These curses, come on. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God says, no. You got to put it in, how the Christian church say? Contextual context. When you put this Bible in contextual context, who is Moses talking to? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Who is, who is, Mo, who is being spoken to right here? Do you know? Okay. How would you? How could you prove it? We're going through the same thing. We're thinking about it. The same, yes. the same situation going on. We're going through we're going, We lived out the prophecies. But when you ask, how do we know? Now we got to line everything up. So Moses brings the children of Israel from where? Out of Egypt. Splits the Red Sea. They walk through on dry land. They leave Egypt. Now they're in the wilderness. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Uh -huh. 
on this side Jordan on in the wilderness. On this side of Jordan. Why? Because the river, the, it had to be split for them to cross it. So these are all the words that Moses spoke to the children of Israel on this side of Jordan after we got out of Egypt. Read. Well, jump, now go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. No. But it shall come to pass. So now Moses is telling the children of Israel on this side of Jordan, this shall come to pass. Come on. If thou will not hearken. If you don't listen. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What God is telling y'all to do now that he brought y'all out of captivity. Come on. To observe. To do all his commandments. That you must do his commandments. Observe and do the commandments of God. Come on. And his statue. Read. Which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake so thee. So Moses told the children of Israel, if y'all don't keep these commandments, that the Lord has put before you All these curses that I'm about to tell you about Is going to come upon you Read We jump to verse 32 Verse 32 Thy sons and thy daughters Shall be given unto another people Who did that happen to on earth? Did it happen to anybody else? Now, not at the magnitude that it happened to us Hey, you can't compare uh, what they say the Jewish uh, thing was, 7 million? Holocaust. A Holocaust, how many? Holocaust of 6 million. You can't com compare 6 million people to over 200, to over 2 million, 200 million slaves being drowned in, in the Pacific Ocean. Bring it out. How in the hell can you compare 6 million to the 200 million that drowned, that didn't even make it here? I don't think that made no sense. Over 200 million slaves drowned coming to America were thrown in the damn on water right what the hell your six million mean Bring your six million ain't nothing nobody suffered the curses of this Bible like we have that's right, right. that's how we know we're the children of Israel we thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people that's slavery brother come on and that eyes shall look. Your eyes going to look and see your children being taken away from you. Come on. And fail. And they're going to fail. Come on. With longing for them all the day long. That longing for them is saying what? When you long for something, meaning what? You you long for it, meaning that you you want that thing back. You Your child. Your, if I take your child away from you, if DSS come kick in your dough and take your child from you for no reason, how, how would you feel? Broken, sad, crying. You ever seen 12 years of slave? Yeah. You seen Roots? Yeah. What did that sister do? She cried the whole movie. The whole movie she cried. Solomon said, would you shut up? She said, if your children was not take, was taken from you, would you not cry for them? Would you not long for them? Would you not want them back? Right. I'm crying because I miss my children. I want my children. The Bible says that you're going to see your children being taken from you and you're going to long for them all the day long. Come on. And there, and shall, there shall be no might in thine hand. You're going to have no power to get your children back. You ain't got no power, no army, no uh, economic power, no money. You're a slave. You have nothing. You can. There's nothing you can do to Bring get your out. children back. Nothing. Nobody can claim that curse. Nobody can claim that curse. Read on. The fruit of thy land uh -huh. and all thy labor Come on. shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. It says the fruit of your land and all your what? Neighbors. All your neighbors. Labor. Come on. All your labors. Come on. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. The Bible just said all, on your land where you labor and you grow food, on this land where you labor day in and day out to produce economical growth for yourself, you're not going to reap any other rewards for that. Right. Well, all during slavery for over, over 400 years, you cropped them fields. You, you, know. you picked that cotton. You sucked that tobacco. Right. You did all of these laborious works in these fields, and you got nothing. You got nothing. You think they're going to give the slaves reparations today? I forget the number, but it was in a it was in the damn near billion dollars or something like that if they want to give every slave reparations today. You think... This government is gonna give our black, gonna give millions of black people millions and billions of dollars? Hell no! Right. That's right. Hell no! The Bible says that you're gonna labor and you ain't gonna, you you're not gonna uh, 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 reap any of the wars. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.